Hi, today I will show a few tips of quick inserting clips and tracks to the timeline in the edit page. Sometimes we need to add a video track below the first one, but it seems there is no command defined directly for this. From the right-click context menu, we can choose a track, but it always adds the new track to the top. With the Add Tracks window, it has the options of how many tracks and where we want to put them, but it seems a bit tedious. I wish there are options in the context menu that we can choose to add track above or below. Instead of using the Add Tracks dialog, there is a keyboard shortcut we can use to achieve this faster. In this timeline, we have one video track. Lift up one clip in the timeline to the track above, and then drag the clip down while holding Ctrl and Shift keys. Release buttons when a new track is added below, drag the clip back to its original track. We now have a new track added below the first track, with only a few clicks. In the case of multiple tracks in the timeline, there is no need to lift up a clip, we just control shift drag down a clip in the second track, a new track is added below, and then move the clip back. With this control shift modifier, inserting track in the middle of others also gets easy. For example, if we want to insert a new track above V2, we just control shift drag up a clip from V2, and move the clip back to V2 after the track is added. We can also use this keyboard shortcut to swap clips between different tracks. For example, we have multiple tracks in the timeline, and we want to add a background underneath as the bottom track. Drag a background clip from Media Pool to the track at the very top in the timeline. Control Shift drag it down to the bottom, and automatically it shifts the other tracks up and moves the background to the bottom. While Control Shift dragging up and down shuffles clips between tracks, Control Shift dragging horizontally can swap and rearrange clips in the same track. In this example, we want to move video 5 to the beginning of video 3. Simply holding Control and Shift keys, drag video 5 to the left and we see that the surrounding clips automatically switch places with the clip we are dragging. We can also lift up the clip first, and then Ctrl Shift drag to move the clip. In this case snapping can help us position the clip to the right place. If we need to insert the clip in the middle of another clip, turning off the snapping will be helpful. Say we want to insert video 3 to the middle of video 5, without snapping, it allows us to insert the clip to a place close to the border. We can also select multiple clips and control shift drag them to another position in the timeline. The control shift modifier is also helpful when inserting clips from the media pool or source viewer. Select and control shift drag a clip from media pool to the timeline Clips after the pointer position are shifted to the right automatically, leaving room for inserting the new clip. Release the mouse, the new clip is inserted into the timeline at the mouse pointer position. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.